Okay, Adam, if you're watching this, here's your drill press sitting out in the yard at Tell City. Okay, this is the start of a little road trip, a haul trip that I took. Started out in Buffalo, New York, went to Tell City, Indiana, and then this machine is going to Pensacola, Florida to Adam Booth. So stay tuned. Nice little drill press actually. do a little sidebar here this picture is when I got to this place a machine shop to pick up the drill for Adam the guy that was running the forklift driving the forklift was working on this K&T horizontal mill I have two of these K and exact models of these K&T horizontal mill and I will put them up in a clip right now so I just kind of found that ironic. So on with the video uh, from Tell City where I am now to Pensacola, Florida. So what a difference a thousand miles makes, huh? A thousand miles of where I went. It's probably not a thousand miles uh, straight down here, but we're just outside of Birmingham, Alabama, just north of it at 65. Um, it's like 47, 48 degrees, sunny, well, mixed broken clouds. But it's surely different than when I left this morning and um, scraping snow and ice off the windows. But anyways, I've got the machine on, you probably can't see it. Um, I did shoot it before the trailer and I'll take a picture or uh, take a video of it afterwards uh, when I say afterwards when I'm unloading it or if I stop at a rest area before the sun goes down I'll take a video of it <clears throat> what I'm planning on doing is spending the night where I'm gonna spend the night I'm not really sure yet uh, I was thinking a motel but uh, it depends on if I can find something. So what I want to do is just get there by 7 o'clock. Ironically, I've got to come back up to Birmingham to uh, pick up that other machine tomorrow. Uh, after I really drop the uh, drill press off, I'll stop or come back up here to Birmingham, pick up that other machine, and... Uh, Head towards Washington. But anyways, hope that sun isn't blowing you out real bad. I'll bring you back. Let's see if we can get that sunrise now. Okay, so here it is in Pensacola, Florida. Motion Industries. So that's all I shot of Adam's drill press. If you want to see more 
uh, go to Adam's channel and check it out. It's his drill press, so um, let him present it to you and uh, show you the details of it. Okay, so it's off to Birmingham, Alabama from Pensacola, Florida to pick up the shaper for Jason. Okay, I didn't film any but any of the loading of this uh, shaper onto the trailer. I actually thought we, I was picking up a machine shop and it turned out to be a huge facility for Alabama Power and Light. Um, and it was just kind of weird. So I didn't film any of it, but I've got a clip of it on the trailer coming up now. Okay, this video was shot with my camera, my phone camera. Uh, the first rest area that I came to after I picked it up from Alabama Power and Light. I just wanted to stop, shoot this video, and send it to Jason so that he could have it. And uh, check my bindings, uh, chains, bindings, straps to make sure everything was good. Um, so, here we go. We're off to Washington, Spokane, Washington. So probably the rest of the video will be just uh, uh, me talking and driving and showing some scenery. Okay, just a uh, short shot of uh, I'm on Route 29 North, just south of or yeah, south of uh, Sioux City. really tied up in traffic yesterday. I was hoping to make a lot more, but uh, north of Nashville, um, I got tied up in traffic real bad. There was a, uh, like a three-hour traffic jam. I don't know what happened. They actually closed the road down that I was on, it, and I think it was Route 24, if I'm not mistaken. But they actually closed the road down, and um, this was in uh, Tennessee, and um, I got to tell you, you know, they close the road down, they take you off and kind of, I, I'm not going to call it a city, it was uh, like a, a urban area. off the road, shut the road down, and took us off in this, like, suburban area, a really congested suburban area. Some malls, a lot of plazas, stuff like that around, so there was a lot of traffic to begin with. Now you shut a major highway down, a four-lane highway down, and, and sat it into this urban area, and they're not giving any direction to the people that are traveling over this road. Nobody knows where to go. I, I was just kind of following my GPS, but, um, you know, I was trucking around on, on back streets and back roads and stuff, trying to uh, loop around to the next um, exit entrance off of that, that, uh, that interstate. And really, you know, I mean, yell out the window to one of the cops, you know, where where do we go? How do we get around this? And he's just saying, keep moving. Just, you know, I mean, I understand if there was something major going on, but, you know, they've got to take into consideration. They had, again, traffic and it was a three lane so it was a six lane highway. They had three lanes of traffic backed up for three hours on this thing. I can't even imagine how many miles deep it was. But enough of my rant. On we go. I'm still on that 29. Uh, it's kind of chilly out. It's like 24, 25 degrees and we're coming up on this plant and all the, the steam coming up out of it is could see it for probably 15 miles away. I don't even know what it is. 
Um, maybe as we get down here farther, it'll identify itself. Anywheres between five and four below, but up on top of that mountain that I'm coming down now, um, it was 14 below. And uh, my my fuel must, uh, even though it's got winter blend in it, and I uh, put an additive in it when I got the last batch, um, you can still tell that it thickens up a little bit because. It comes out a lot slower from the transfer tank into the uh, to into the main tank, but um, but anyways, I'm about um, 210 miles away from uh, where I've got to drop this machine off. Um, really, not much else to tell. I'm on 90. Um, be gonna go through that little kind of panhandle of Idaho uh, pretty quick and then into Washington. <clears throat> One of the funny things is there's a train track that runs alongside here. I, I see an abnormal amount of trains just sitting on the tracks, not going anywhere, but uh, running in with crews in them. I don't know if they're like stacked up like they do airplanes and uh, they're waiting to get to some place, but um, 
kind of weird. They're all over the place. You see them stacked up, just sitting. Then last night, I was coming down... um, Where was it? It was either in Montana or... It could have been still in South Dakota. But uh, I was coming down... I guess you'd call it a mountain. I was coming down it and not knowing the road and stuff like that. Um, these train tracks, I didn't know these train tracks were there. And uh, it was a single light on this locomotive. And it was like coming at me. And I'm thinking, Jesus, is somebody driving in the wrong wrong lane of the, the four-lane highway? Only to find out the road curved off of it. And... Um, the train was down beside me, but anyways, it was kind of, it was a little scary for a minute, but anyways, I'll bring you back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just replay the clip of this machine that was on the trailer. I didn't want to shoot any film when I got to Fireball Tools or Jason's place to unload the machine. He has his own YouTube channel, and let him present it himself. Now I did talk to him and told him that I had shot some clips of it and uh, that I would be using it. He was cool with that even though he might not have posted anything yet. But on with the road trip. Okay, last glimpses of the sun for the day. Coming back out of uh, Washington. I don't think I'm still in Idaho. I'm not really sure. It's probably... Yeah. Uh, Maybe I am, though. I haven't seen, to tell you the truth, they haven't seen a sign changing state. So, uh, but anyways, kind of the last glimpses of the sun. Probably the last glimpses of the mountains, too, because once it gets dark, I'm not going to be able to shoot it. So I took it to Washington, took it to uh, Jason at Fireball Tool. Um, He unloaded it with a forklift. I backed the trailer into a shop. It's got a real nice shop. Um, It's got a real new toy, not the toy that I brought him. Another new toy. So uh, we have to check out his channel and and, uh, see what it is. I'll bring you back. Hopefully the sky is going to come out tonight. I uh, kind of told you in some other video about the sunrises on the east coast. The sunsets always in the west are just magnificent. You know, they're, it's like somebody painted a color palette. But uh, hopefully that, that sky will come out. Before I got the camera on, there was really a cool shot of that one peak way down up in the distance, the pyramid looking peak with kind of surrounded by those peak clouds. Uh, Montana, we're in Montana right now. We were in Montana before too in that other video, it wasn't in Idaho, it was in Montana. My truck GPS doesn't tell me that. It tells me that a state border is coming up, but it doesn't say what state it is or anything else. And it happens like five miles before you hit the state border. So by the time you get to it, you've kind of forgotten about it to begin with. So unless there's a big sign, which a lot of states aren't putting up anymore. Remember they used to have those huge signs where welcome to New York and will rob you of taxes, but states don't do that anymore. I'll bring it back. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Um, This is Route 90 uh, coming out of Erie, Pennsylvania, headed toward the New York State line. And as you can see, up here we have blue skies, there will be blue skies. But over there is a cloud bank. That cloud bank is directly over Lake Erie. 
and this was what causes our lake effect snow. Um, it, it's yeah, it's clouds, but re really what it is is it's a uh, temperature inversion between the warm lake water and the cold air. It's uh, only 16 degrees right now, so you get this inversion layer, and this is what causes snow. So. As you can see, uh, blue skies up here, but as we get farther down the road, I bet you it'll be snowing, and it's that, that inversion layer that's coming off of the lake that's causing it. So I was wrong about the snow, and the reason why is because it's a fairly calm day, there's hardly any wind, so as you can see, the, the part over the land is really broken up. The main concentration of that um, temperature differential is um, out there where the dark clouds are over the lake. So um, you're probably getting some activity out over the lake, but it's not blowing inland. So um, you won't get much snow here.